Today's lesson is on identifying clovers. Clovers are relatively difficult um, to identify because of all the different nuances uh, and considerations you have to um, take into account. These are just some of them. First of all, the leaf pattern. When we look at the leaf pattern, you have to understand that, that all legumes, in particular clovers, are going to have three uh, leaf, leaflets called a trifoliate leaf. Uh, but also, if you look at each individual leaflet, it too has its unique characters. You look at the leaf margin or on the outside. You look at the leaf, uh, the leaflet shape. Um, also, if it's hairy or, or, or pubescent or glabrious or smooth. And, of course, the venation pattern. Also, flowers. Another relatively easy way to, to identify them. But finding them that, that, that are blooming um, sometimes is difficult if you're not obviously in the spring. So, but there are other ways, like for instance, the stems, whether they're glabrious or smooth, or pubescent if they're hairy. And then the seeds. The seeds are another, um, I, I think, a relatively easy way if you can get them. Uh, the coloration, um, the actual shape, and their size have a lot to do with how to identify them. So let's take a look at a few. Red clover. Uh, red clover is uh, one of those uh, ones that um, I think if you see the flowers fairly easy, it's the chartreuse or very bright fluorescent pink. It's it's in a nice round cluster or head. And that that also reminds me that um, all the clovers you're going to see are in some kind of cluster or inflorescence. The inflorescence, inflorescences are basically made up of a lot of small flowers. And as you can see in this one, each fluorescence or inflorescence is made up of a variety of different um, um, smallish flowers. So the, for red clover, it's a round cluster that tends to be um, kind of fluorescent pink or chartreuse. If we take a look at the uh, the actual seeds um, for for red clover, you'll notice that um, there are a lot of different colors in there, different colors of red. For instance, uh, they're first of all mitten shaped, like this. And this reddish seed also has a tinge of, of beige in it, so you have this pattern. But the, the red seeds are really, really uh, distinguishable and easy to, to, easy to find and see. And of course the beige. So there's a contrast of beige and red uh, within the seeds. Now if you take a look at the, uh, the leaves, they're very oblong and come to a point. And again, you'll see that this throughout all the, this is one of the identifying features. Again, for me, it's really easy to spot red clover because it's a football shaped leaf. This oblong pointed uh, leaf is also glabrious or very, very smooth on the stem as well as the leaves. So, in red clover, chartreuse flower, mitten shaped seeds that are made of beige and red, and the football shaped leaf are very distinctive for me when, it, when we're looking at. Um, um, red clover. So let's go to the next one. The next one is crimson clover. Again, an easily identifiable feature is its inflorescence. The inflorescence on crimson clover is kind of Christmas uh, uh, tree shaped. It's kind of stacked on top of each other. Let's go back to this one. It's kind of stacked on top of, uh, of each other and you'll notice that it's this almost triangular shape. Um, kind of like a Majorette would wear on his hat. So very, very showy, very bright red. Now if we take a look at the, uh, the seed for crimson clover, it tends to be more of a, of a dark hue. And if you take a look at some of these seeds, it's not really a beige. It's almost, a, well, I guess it is kind of a, kind of a sandy color but it's kind of a dark sandy color and, um, it, it's, and they're roundish. And then when we take a look at the leaf itself, the leaf itself tends to be more rounded, uh, whereas the red clover was more football shaped. And this is that has on the margins as well as the stem has a lot of hair on it or the, it's very pubescent. But the other thing too that you sometimes will see is this red or dark spotting. You'll find that on them as well. So if we take a look at crimson, You'll notice some of the identifying features is number one, the seeds are rounded. They tend to be a dark beige. Uh, they have a large, bright, bright red or crimson color inflorescence that stands tall, kind of triangular shape. 
And the leaves tend to be more rounded, sometimes with red spotting, and of course they're very pubescent. So those are the things that you need to watch for um, on crimson clover. We get to rose clover, and uh, when we look at the flower, uh, this poor flower, it looks a little like, like an unmade bed, uh, kind of uh, maybe an aging or, or thinning on, on, his, uh, on his dome there. Uh, so the, the inflorescence have lots of hair, lots of, uh, of, of uh, pubescence, with scattered flowers or inflorescence with, on, on the cluster. Um, very, very, uh, I think, distinctive in, in, in that way because of uh, the amount of um, hair it has on it. And also, if you take a look at the, at the leaves, they tend to be uh, more teardrop shaped, kind of thin, and, and very heavily pubescent throughout. So let's take a look at the seeds. The seeds are, again, rounded, uh, just like uh, the crimson clover. But right here on the rose clover, you'll notice that it's more rounded. It's very beige, a light beige color. And again, if you take a look at um, uh, the, the rose uh, the, the rose flowers here uh, for rose clovers, they're heavily uh, infested with hair and stems are. So it's a real uh, pubescent or hairy uh, plant throughout. And it's a really light pink on the flower. And again, if you take a look at these... Um, leaflets, you'll notice that they're kind of teardrop shape. So, if, if I were to summarize it, first of all, the seeds are round, really light beige, but uh, the inflorescence of flowers are this light, light, uh, f almost faded pink, and the entire plant is covered in hair. So, that ha is how I would uh, describe um, rose clover. So, let's go to strawberry clover. Strawberry clover uh, flower is very similar to rose, but it's uh, it lacks hair. It's it, it's um, uh, very glabrious. It's real smooth, and there's more uh, flowers in the inflorescence, and they're um, they're much more um, populated in that. Um, so as you can see here in this uh, image, you'll notice right away that um, the the leaflets. Are kind of egg, no, I would say egg shaped, kind of oblong, but not as sharp as as red clover. It's also very glabriose. But again, the kicker for me is if you take a look at the lower third of the leaves or the leaflets, you'll notice these little things right here. These things are sticking out in the lower third. These little stipules right here. They are just sticking out right there. You're not going to see that in in the uh, red clover. Uh, you won't, you'll see it in some of the others, but in particular in, in strawberry, they're very, very pronounced. The other thing you'll notice about the, um, the strawberry clover, if you look at the, the seeds themselves, they're rounded, but if you notice, some of them are green. They have a little green tinge or spot to some of these seeds. Whereas this looks a little bit like red uh, clover, these... The strawberry ones have little bitty green ones kind of sprinkled throughout. And the reds aren't as red as in red uh, clover seed. So th that's another distinctive feature. And notice the inflorescence. Much like the strawberry clover, these have a, a kind of a faded pink, but they're much more full. The, the, the actual cluster inflorescence is much more full. And then, to me, once a all the, le the, um, the petals fall off, then it the seed head turns into like a miniature strawberry. What's that's why it gets its name. So, just a really briefly recap on the on the strawberry clover. You'll notice that the leaf is is again oblong, but not as sharp at the edges. Uh, the stipules at the lower third of the leaflet. Um, the 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 seeds are going to be kind of beige and a, and a pale red. But in particular, you'll see a little uh, sprinkling of green seeds, almost like immature seeds throughout. And then when the fluorescence matures, it turns itself basically into like a miniature strawberry. So that is the strawberry clover. And then lastly, the Ladino clover. This one is real distinctive. This is easy to find. First of all, it's very glabriose. It's very, it's very smooth, no hair. Also, uh, if you look at a lot of lawns or, or, or uh, large areas of grass, you'll probably see them because this is a bright, white, a rounded a cluster of flowers. Bees love it. Makes pretty good honey, it's sweet and clear. So, but anyway, the Ladino uh, clover is a white flower. 
So that's pretty distinctive. The other thing is the leaves are really tiny. That's why I call it little ladino. Very tiny seed. And as you can see here uh, in the palm of your hand, they, they, they can be kind of uh, mitten shaped, but they're teeny tiny seeds. And the leaves are very, very rounded. And they have this watermark. Not all of them have it, but most of them do. So in, in recap, white flower for ladino. The seeds are very, very tiny, and it's globulose plant with watermarks, and the leaflets are round. So let's um, go ahead and, and see how well you did do on a, on a test. So let's go ahead and give you a, a quick test. So you can see you have numbers here in the, on the picture, one, two, and three. Let's write it down. Take a moment and see if you know what these, these uh, clovers are. Okay, number one, uh, you should know on uh, from just the leaf itself with the stipules coming out like this and this nice smooth globulose leaf. This is strawberry. That's strawberry uh, clover. And then number two, if you take a look at this leaf again, it's uh, very distinctive. Nice football shaped leaf. That's right. It's red clover. And then again, if you take a look at the leaf here, as well as the flower, the, our unmade bed over here, um, it is a teardrop-shaped leaf. And that would be, right, rose clover. So let's look at another one. Take a moment, see if you can uh, determine what kind of plants these are. All right, this one is fairly distinctive. Uh, you'll notice that it has the red or dark markings. It's very pubescent, and that would be a leaf from a, that's right, crimson clover. And then number two, again, you just saw this in particular. You look at the how hairy the plant is, the teardrop-shaped leaf, and then the um, basically the uh, chartreuse, or, uh, or pinkish uh, types of, of inflorescence. That would be, of course, rose clover. And then lastly, really easy to spot, round glabriose leaflets. That would be ladino, that's right. So, last one. These are the seeds. Give you a second. Write it down on a piece of paper, whatever you need to do, go. All right, this one's fairly easy as well. Notice kind of the greenish seeds spread out throughout this sample. And that would be strawberry clover seed. Then number two, uh, very teeny tiny seeds. Sometimes it has uh, kind of the, the mint shape. That's right, ladino. And then the ones with a very dark red and, and beige contrast of the seeds. And of course that would be red clover. All right, that's right. Well, I hope this has helped you. I hope that uh, you'll be able to, of course, teach your students as well as uh, teach yourself a little bit about clovers now and how do I do that. Thanks.